Misinformation or uninformed advice can lead you down the wrong path. Let's say for instance, you want to learn how to swim and you are asking someone who has never gone to a pool before how to swim. How would that person teach you how to swim? Or you want to learn how to fight a war. You want to learn how to shoot and you're speaking to someone who is a doctor who has never been in the army. How is that going to be possible? You need to make your decision as fast as possible. 2024 is almost here and i know you have a resolution you have a plan and you probably have a decision to make that you want to be a cyber security professional in 2024 probably you also want to make multiple six figures so we want to look at how do you break into cyber security industry in 2024 that you enter into the realm of making six figures if not multiple six figures a year that is what we want to look at but to help you get into cyber security in 2024 and be able to make multiple six figures it is important that we look at what are the things that you must not do or that you cannot do what are the things that can hinder you or stop you from breaking into cyber security in 2024 number one thing that we can look at that would not help you is indecision you need to recognize that procrastination or leaving your interest in cyber security merely as a thought without action is a major barrier cyber security is a very fast changing field that when you want to do something especially in any of the domains of cyber security you need to make your decision as fast as possible so indecision is something that can hinder you from getting or breaking into that field number two reason that can stop you from breaking into cyber security field is consulting on expert understand the importance of seeking guidance from experienced professionals in it and cyber security misinformation or uninformed advice can lead you down the wrong path let's say for instance you want to learn how to swim and you are asking someone who has never gone to a pool before how to swim how would that person teach you how to swim or you want to learn how to fight a war you want to learn how to shoot and you're speaking to someone who is a doctor who has never been in the army how is that going to be possible so consulting on expert is not going to help you another reason that can stop you from breaking into cyber security is lack of specialization you see you don't have all the time in the world to plan and read and study so there is need for you to specialize on one particular subject on one particular domain cyber security is vast avoid spreading yourself too thin by trying to learn everything you need to choose a specific domain either network security ethical hacking or popularly called pen testing either it is cryptography or identity and access management or the one that i train people on which is grc governance risk and compliance you need to focus on it when you focus on one then you already have your mindset that okay this is what i want to do and i'm going to expend all my resources learning this particular skill another reason that can also stop you from breaking into cyber security in 2024 is over reliance on youtube don't get me wrong youtube is very helpful youtube is very good you can get tons of information from youtube however youtube does not have everything if youtube has everything everyone will be doing it all right there are information there are things you need to know there are trainings you need that you cannot get adequately on youtube while youtube can be a very helpful resource relying solely on it for education purpose can be limiting it's going to limit you it lacks the structured learning and depth that former courses or certifications offer what you will get from former courses mentorship coaches you you cannot get that from youtube now let's look at how you can break into it how to break into cyber security in 2024 number one thing is that you must decide to pursue cyber security make a conscious decision and set clear goals this commitment will drive your learning journey trust me it will drive you it will drive what you do it will drive how you do them you need to make a decision whatever you want to do start from your decision once you have decided every other thing will follow because if you have not decided you cannot think about what you want to do how you want to do it what it will cost you to do it and how long it will take you because you're here to make that decision but as soon as you make a decision on what you want to do trust me you can begin to set clear goals and because you're committed to that it will drive how you learn 
on that journey number two is choose the right domain look at this point in time you need to understand that cyber security has about eight domains right now and you you don't want to learn everything we're talking about breaking in in 2024 so you have limited time so you need to research and identify a domain that aligns with your interest and the demand in the job market that is what you can do to identify and know which domain that you want to choose you want to choose the one that aligns with your interest that's number one number two you want to look at the demand in the job market quick one if you would like to earn multiple six figures in cyber security in 45 days even without an it degree or experience if you would like to work from the comfort of your home any multiple six figures in cyber security in just 45 days i'm talking about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and above i want you to click the link below to apply and schedule a destiny call with my team if we find you a good fit we will work with you to help you transition into a multiple six figures in just 45 days and i'm talking about multiple six figures in cyber security in just 45 days now this is for serious and committed individuals who want to make a difference and earn multiple six figures in 45 days in cyber security it's important to know that we have a 15 percent acceptance rate which means if we see you do not qualify we will not work with you we work with individuals who consider themselves as elite now if you're ready to change your story and move to the next level click the link now and apply to book a destiny call with my team and my team will meet you on the inside now let's jump right back to the youtube video how do you know the one that aligns with your interest go on youtube or google search for all the domains in cyber security when you search for all the domains let's say for instance security assessment or identity and access management or application assessment right get one of these domain then go to linkedin and type that uh, domain on linkedin grc governance risk and compliance is also a domain you can also copy that paste it on linkedin and then you click jobs to filter your search when you click job to filter your search now click each of those jobs and look at the requirement that is there when you look at the requirement it will you will know that i think i like this i think i can do this i think i'm ready for this i think i align more with this that is how you decide which of these jobs align with your interest and you can also consider imagine areas like cloud security or ai in cyber security it's very important which is leading us to the next one is selecting appropriate learning resources that's the third one you need to opt for reputable learning platforms like the one i run xmi cyber were one of the best and we we stand for excellent and like i used to tell people we don't compete because we're not average average people compete we are excellent we don't compete so what i'm going to tell you is select your appropriate learning resources you don't have to come to me you don't have to learn on my platform if you've seen any other platform like Comptia Security, like other platforms like those who offer CEH, CISSP, or ISC, or ISACA, and all that, or like all the boot camps out there, get a learning resources from a very reputable learning platform. So don't forget, you have chosen the one you want to learn, and the next thing is the vehicle that will help you to learn that. When you do that, then you can begin to work on certifications that you want to do, all right? but first thing first choose what you want to learn and choose the vehicle that will help you which is either boot camp or school or any certification and all that all right now the next key is very very important which is practice extensively uh bruce lee said something he said i do not fear a man that practice ten thousand kicks but i fear a man that practice one kick ten thousand times if you practice what you are learning and you keep on practicing you keep on practicing you become unstoppable there's this rule of 100 and rule of 1000 that if you spend one hour a day practicing something if you continue like that for two months you would have done 100 hours of that thing you are better than a lot of people in that field so you need to practice extensively what you're working on and for the benefit of you that you're watching right now, I teach GRC, Governance, Risk and Compliance, and I have tools that I use to teach people 
practical solutions and practical things that you do when you get a job so you coming onto my platform to learn you're going to get practical learning all right so you can practice and practice and practice and practice and for those who are actually going to the deeply technical field in cybers ready like me when i started i started as a pen tester so there's a tool called hack the box hack the box is a very good tool for you to learn how to hack all right so that will also help you to gain real world skills and you can also participate in capture the flag was he talking about practicing extensively and if you are in grc as well you can join me and trust me we have softwares and tools that you're going to install that you that will help you to practice and by the time you're getting interviews or by the time you're getting job you're already very good at what you do all right that is very very important now the next one that you have to do is to refine your professional profile you need to craft a compelling resume and LinkedIn profile that highlights your skills, your projects, and certifications. Now, you're also going to need to tailor them to reflect the specific demands of the cyber security roles that you're applying for. Again, this is one of the services that we offer in my training. Those who are my students, after you're done with your training and you're practicing, we help you with your resume and your LinkedIn. We write it for you and it is tailor made trust me so this is something that you need to do because like what is the point of all that you know and the recruiters don't know you know it what is the point of you practicing what is the point of you doing training and recruiters do not know that you can do the job if you do not have a well made tailor made resume and linkedin profile optimized for you there is no way they'll be able to know and choose you for interview so that is the next step that you have to do after you have done everything that we highlighted make sure that you have a well done professional profile all right now the next one which is also very very important is to apply widely again if you're looking at these steps you will see that these are very carefully created steps that will help you break into cyber already in 2024 you need to apply widely after you have your resume your linkedin everything now you need to apply everywhere okay utilize job platforms like linkedin indeed and other niche cyber ready job boards you don't want to limit your applications all right you need to consider various roles and various organizations as well because you don't want to limit yourself the more you apply the more opportunities you have okay there are people that they apply for only 20 jobs and they're complaining they're not getting jobs see for my student i have a blueprint that i gave to my student and i give it to any of my students as well this blueprint will help you apply for over 500 jobs in a week without you lifting a finger like well tailor made 500 jobs in a week so imagine you are applying for 500 jobs in a week and if your um, um, resume or your linkedin is good the acceptable statistics is that when you apply for any job you should get minimum of 10 percent calls and requests for interview what that means is that if you apply for 500 jobs in a week you should be able to get minimum of 50 calls and 50 interviews and we already have a blueprint that will help you do that you will apply for over 500 jobs in a week now imagine if you if you follow that blueprint and you're applying for over 500 jobs in a week without you lifting a finger because like you guys know applying for job is a job on its own so if you have a blueprint or something that can help you to apply for over 500 jobs in a week in a month you're applying for over 2000 jobs and that is why a lot of my students keeps doing interview they do interview upon interview upon interview and they're getting multiple roles because they apply for more jobs okay so that is very very important for you to do apply for as many jobs as possible all right now which leads me to the next one because after you've applied for so many jobs what is the next thing you're going to be getting calls for interviews of course now you need to prepare for interview see what i will tell you to do is practice answering both technical and behavioral interview questions you need to practice them 
you need to look at yourself in the mirror and practice these questions as many times as you can these are something that these are things that you cannot like do without them you cannot escape it you must know how to interview all right some of the things that i do for my student is part of our program as well where when our students are preparing for interview we have a mock interview for them where we prepare them on the questions that they will ask on how to answer those questions on how to gain confidence and everything that they need and that is why our students are crunching interview so it is very important that you take a look at yourself in the mirror and practice these interviews as many times as you can all right mock interviews understanding the role specific requirement when you're going for interview it is very important that you understand the specific roles requirement if you look at some of the videos on my youtube i have taken time to go through and review some jobs so and i let you understand what they're actually looking for let's say for instance you applied for a risk assessment or risk analyst job right on the job role you're going to see looking at the job roles and description you'll be able to tell the specific role requirement that they're looking for and that will help you to plan and prepare yourself and stay updated all right as per that requirement so that when you go to interview you're going there prepared all right i hope that helps you i hope i've been able to help you understand the things that you need to do to break into cyber security in 2024 don't forget make decision all right make decision choose the right domain Choose the right platform to learn, all right? Um, apply for as many jobs as you can. Build your professional profile and practice for interviews as much as you can and as many as possible. I wish you well and I pray that I will see you on the other side. You know, earning multiple six figures in cyber security in 2024. 2024 is your year, it's my year. Let's go ahead and do what we know how to do best, which are setting goals and achieving them. And I will see you next time. See you on the next video. Bye for now.